Hello and welcome to my channel. I have so many things to show you today that I don't know where to start from. First of all, I'm gonna remember you that I'm gonna link this video down here because in this episode, we're gonna keep working in the technique in which you use a clear stamp like this and a file to make this amazing elements that you can glue whatever you want inside your journal, cards, tags, labels, diaries, glue book, everywhere. In this case, I decorated a laundry room and as you can see, all these came out from a magazine page. So let's start by having the materials you're going to be needing. And as you probably may know, and if you are always here in my channel, I came out with this original idea of using a nail file and um, magazine pages to obtain amazing figures, texturizing and embellishing journal pages and a lot of more elements that you can use in your diaries. For example, I have these I made out of these stamp here and a file and no look at the result is this is amazing you can have this effect or you can have this other effect with a little bit more of details and i went ahead and did also in the on the back of the page and i use this bird in this case and i have it three times and then i use all the little branches from other stamps uh, in order to make all those little plants growing on in here in this amazing amazing picture from a magazine so today i had the idea of using my stamps and also stencils let's start with the stamps usually these type of stamps they come with this wood here the piece of wood it makes you uh, it makes easy for you to stamp right but in order to use this technique i'm going to show you today is always better to have a flat stamp so that's why the clear stamps they work so well and i have a bunch of them here so you need to try with the clear stamps you have and realize which one produces a best the best effect so for example, these are branches, these are birds. I particularly love the birds and the branches. So we're gonna work with this. And also, I am going to try uh, detaching this from the wood. So I already did it. And I'm gonna use that butterfly that I love to try on my magazine paper. So this is no stamping anymore, just a piece of wood. I'm gonna keep it in his place. And then I'm gonna use this one here. So no more ink, we don't want ink around here today, we just want a file and a stamp. So as you remember, I'm working on this journal Celebrate and it's coming along so nice and so well that I'm falling in love every moment with this. And I want to show you the result of some of the things we're going to do today, like for example, texturizing a paper writing some letters all this is done with the same technique using a file and a magazine paper you see the texture here today i'm going to show you how to do it and so let's start the first thing you need to look or probably the second thing is to look for magazine pages that mean something for you and also the offer dark colors like for example this will be one very very good so i'm going to separate it and i have other selections i made here probably i can use it today or in a different opportunity but this will be the perfect one i have another one here i have another one i have another one and i have another one here so today we're going to be working with this magazine papers or pages they are amazing and you'll see the results i also have this one but they already have some images i'm not going to use today the second thing i want to tell you is um, i don't have too many stencils i just have a few and um, i don't want to have like a large collection of stencils because you know how it is like when you do this 
type of art you collect a lot of stuff so I really don't want to be overwhelmed by the old amount of stuff I have so I have this from the Dollar Tree this is really nice and I haven't used it yet because when you use this technique and uh, you can do it with a lot of things like with stencils with stamps so I started with stamps so let's go ahead and start also in the Dollar Tree you can have this type of, of stencils that come all around and so you can just uh, keep moving it like that you turn it and then you stamp only the one you need but I I feel that this is very uncomfy so what I want to do with this and I'm going is I'm going to separate them I don't want them together so I want to cut them and I want to separate them so I'm going to do it on a dark background so you can see what I'm doing so I'm going to go straight to the center and I really prefer to have them separate so I have one here and let me cut them with you here so you can know all the process right so um, the the amazing thing is that only for 125 you'll have two three four five six seven eight different in this case eight different type of feathers and arrows that you can use in your journals and so give me just one more minute to finish cutting this and then we're going to start with our potential amazing video so yes I'm ready now also I have all these stencils here probably you know them they are come from Amazon and they they have like different shapes different uh, prices and sizes so I'm gonna start by using my materials and this actually is a lady on a magazine it's pretty dark because you can barely see the body is wearing something black and then you see feet there so I guess it's interesting and we can do something with her it's too bad that I wrap it here so probably I can glue it or do something else so what I'm trying to do is first of all I'm gonna have a butterfly around the, the belly so I'm just gonna go ahead this is the uh, stamp I detach from the other part on my stash so I'm gonna put it there and I'm gonna come with this place this on on the right part and I'm gonna try making the butterfly yeah so as it is good to take your stamps away from the wood because that is the result you can have so this is one of the effects I want to have on her and also I'll be making her probably a skirt out of feathers so I'm gonna start placing this here and you need to calculate alright so let's do it the file for this one can be too hard so I'm gonna try with this one that is a little bit softer and as you can see it comes all out in a perfect way and shape right so I have the first part of the leg then I can twist it that is the I can flip it it's the amazing thing about this technique and also um, placing the stamp in the right spot is very important I want this to be kind of symmetrical so I'm gonna go there and wish me good luck so we go here and I've seen this in other channels and thank you for mentioning my name it's really important for you if you're gonna mention this technique that you give me my credit because it's my technique I was the first one doing it or mostly the first one um, doing this technique and so it's really nice to see that people recognize that um, it is something new it is something super cool and nice and they give me my credit so thank you very much if you are being mentioning my technique and you being showing it to you to your people so thanks a lot this is a great community and I love to be here doing this amazing thing so as you can see I have part of the skirt already and I'm gonna complete it here so we are literally dressing this lady giving her a skirt using the stencils 
So this is the center and I'm gonna go here for the last one. All right, so I hope you can see it here. Look at how beautiful this is. Now we need to make the body and uh, probably I'm going to be using a different feather. I wanna give her wings. So this is mostly like a wing or probably or probably this one. Let's give her this as wings. So let me place them there. Also, I'm just thinking that what you can probably have is a cutting mat under your uh, work station or on top of the table you're working on. So if you want, you can have a, a mat like this one with the grid and then you can be sure that you're placing this really straight or you give the angle that you want to give to the figure right so let's do it with the this um, cutting board and so I need to see I choose the right angle and then I go here so let's try to have this like so and as I told you I have so many things to show you and to tell you that probably this video is not gonna be enough so stay tuned, uh, subscribe to my channel so you can be always seeing uh, what I'm doing as a new and creative ideas. Then we flip it and let's do the other wings. So here we go. There it is. All right. So it's too away from the body. All right. Oh gosh, this is better. Oh, oh, this file is working a lot better. Look at the difference. Probably I, look at that. It's a more clear image. So I can always go back and probably try to, try to redo it. I don't think that I'm gonna have exactly the right place. I'm gonna do my best because I love more this effect. I really like it. So let's try it. This is a new file. I didn't try it before. And as you can see, I didn't put it in the same place, same spot. So I don't know, probably ruin it. No, anyway, it's look, it's good. We're just trying a new technique, so it's fine. Uh, here, so we have those kind of wings. I can always put something on top. And this is an idea that you can use. Uh, here we need something else to complete the body. And I'm thinking I can have probably, uh, what about if we add two birds? One on this side, there. Let's add the bird right here. And I'm gonna use same file. right and then I can't flip the the bird because this side is smooth so that is where the embossing effect comes from but I have another one looking that way so I can probably use a different bird I don't I want it to be symmetrical but it's not possible Ooh, look at this Wow, I have a question like asking me if the stamps will be ruined. The answer is no. This is going to stay well as far as you don't um, file just on top of them. But you're going to see that if you go too hard, then you're going to have an effect like that. So this is going to break and then you know that is too hard, you're pushing too hard. So it's time to change the file or to do it more soft. I'm going to leave it just like that because I wanted to have her uh, with this effect and I'm just showing you the technique so and some ideas so you can go ahead and try with them. I'm going to do some other part of the skirt. 
right you have it there and this is the good thing about the stamps that you can flip them and have the image on the other side for example in the case of this in the case of this skirt and then you can do also the different planes like if you go up or down I can see that these are on the bottom that's not on top and that's on top so this is to the back and the meat in the back and front or behind and this is at front so it's really really cool so what else can I do with her I love her just the way it is the only thing I don't like is this part but I don't know if I can probably do with a different stamp let's try so the wing is gonna go over there so you see if I do it here it will be for this side I want it there so I need to flip it like that so let's try and I hope we can see the difference now doesn't matter if it has different it has or she has different wings that's not really a problem let me see if I don't and destroy the whole thing no this is not working anymore so I'm just gonna leave it like so probably I can glue something on top of her on this side and then with this over here uh, it's still able I'm still able to fix it so I'm just gonna take this on the back and that will be an amazing um, page for my junk journal so let's add it right now and I think I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, keep working on a next video this video is already 16 minutes so I don't know if you're gonna stay for a long time here I wish you stay and you can know everything we're doing and I guess I'm gonna choose this page to have it in the center of my journal what do you think let me know in the comments if I should put this here or not I think I'm gonna just glue her here I like her and most of all I am just um, saving all the ideas and the wonderful things we're working on in my channel so yes I'm gonna have it here and um, remember that always you can subscribe to my channel like hitting this little button here and then at the end of this video you can just click on my picture and you'll be subscribed and also you can hit the bell so YouTube is gonna send you a notification about uh, when I am posting a new video also you can always check down below in the description box I'm gonna link videos that are related with today's episode so don't miss any of my videos and try all these techniques they're super fun they're super nice to work with and as you can see I don't have the little piece anymore so I'm gonna have that green popping up there I don't care it doesn't matter it looks super cute by the way green is my favorite color and that is the page so you can always fold it so we can have it perfect there another thing that you can do and we can add to the image like for example in this case we make her a, a skirt some wings is um is this idea like you can have your oh look the little pieces here oh my goodness i'm going back and forth i'm sorry about it but i want to have that little piece there probably i'm going to leave the crevice there so it's going to be like so super good so now what i'm going to do and my idea is you come over here so we have her in black and then I'll come over here and I can probably have to to you know to go on top of that wing I'm gonna have another bird on her but I'm gonna do it in blue so I come here and I just have my bird like so it's really magical and I'm gonna link the video here so you can go ahead and watch my original video so then what I can do is we just cut this we can leave it like so like a square with a bird in the center or you can just fussy cut it and then glue it on on the page you're working with that's the amazing thing about scrapbooking and junk journals and stuff because you know there's there are no rules 
you can just be creative and let your creativity flow and you can always glue something on top of something so that is basically what I want to say so this is what I have and then I can go here and just glue it on top of her let's put it here so we can just have that wing a little bit you see so that is there so I'm gonna have her there and I want to have probably a little bit of nature what about if I just leave the stamp the way it is so I have it like so and I'm gonna go here and um, just put my page on top of it so if I do it with this you see this effect this is like the uh, aureola boreal like the boreal aurora so let's take advantage of all those colors there and let's see what happens so let me go from the from top to bottom I'm just gonna make this uh, align with my paper and stencil and then I'm just gonna go here and let's see what do we have yeah probably I need something else it's like when you paint you choose the brush you want right depending of what you're doing same with this technique you choose your file that is better for the shape you have and with the result you want to obtain and of course the technique is always like better or more into the point if you follow the person who really knows the technique and you follow the steps I'm giving you in here because if you switch papers if you switch files then probably you're not gonna have good results you understand what I'm saying all right so this is another effect I have here I just use the whole stencil and um, I want to have probably this branch yeah so I'm doing this because I like it because it's creative and also because I have a lot of comments saying that you want to see me using this technique in my journal so this is the video I'm dedicating to all of you that wanted to see me doing my technique in my junk journal I use it all the time I think it's fun I think it's new and I think it's a good way to use our stamps without ink and uh, giving a different effect to our work so okay so I have two more just grab it from there and I want to place them around here so I have a branch probably I can go ahead and put it uh, on her head what about that like a crown can it can it be a crown yeah it can be a crown made out of leaves okay so we're gonna do it like so look at her it's a queen of nature right and then I have this branch but I wanted a little bit more fussy cut it And another thing I need to uh, tell you is that uh, recently I went to Georgia. Um, I went to actually Atlanta and I visit some museums and some beautiful things. And of course, guess what? I brought a lot of ephemera I'm going to be using in my journal. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel so you can be watching those episodes as soon as I post them and where is this branch going to go probably here here uh, I guess I'm going to put it I have no idea guys like a belt no I had the butterfly there I'm going to just put it it's too bad I glued this already I, I want it to be like going out from there yeah let me just add the glue and then 
decide where to put it. Yeah, I'm going to make it coming out from the center of the body, like so. And this is what we have. That's the final result. I really hope that you enjoy this episode, that you get a lot of ideas, tons of ideas. And just start being creative and working on your journal, your diaries, everywhere you uh, want and every you know and everything you have at home and uh, yes that's the result I love it very much I like it too much and I see you in my next episode and remember the creativity is endless creativity is powerful and never stop believing in yourself unleash your creativity and you'll see the amazing things that you can create i hope you subscribe give me a thumbs up and of course don't forget to hit the bell see you soon bye my friends bye 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 it is maria here